family come on get fired up from the inside out yes what's up welcome to another episode of FTIO um, a while ago actually a few weeks ago I put out a video called faith over everything on Instagram um, and I just wanted to elaborate a little bit on that so repeat after me faith over everything Yes, faith over everything. Um, this video was inspired because I know a lot of people are going through it right now. A lot of us are struggling. It's that time of the year, you know, beginning of the year. Yes, we are excited and we have all these New Year's resolutions and we have all these goals. Um, and as we get excited and as we move forward and we make all these different plans, you know, we start pushing through. And as we start making progress, right, there's always something that's going to try to pull us down. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? There's always something that's going to test us. There's always something that's going to try to throw us off track. There's going to be distractions that are thrown our way. So as we're moving into the new year, things start to come up, you know, things start to fall apart or things start to like unravel. And I've noticed that. And that could be through your family members. Um, there could be a disconnect at home. There could be a disconnect in your marriage and your relationships. Um, I know personally, um, I have a lot of friends reaching out to me about um, family members that are passing away or that are getting sick. And when I think about this, right, it's like, man, we all are going through it. And then um, as soon as I put the video out, people started hitting me up um, on Facebook, on, on Instagram and Twitter talking about, hey, they're dealing with like depression. They're dealing with, you know, um, marital issues and I'm hearing it all. And, you know, number one, I want to say thank you for sharing that with me. I know it's not easy to reach out in that way. Um, and I know that I can't solve your problems, but what I can do is uh, be that light and be that hope for you and I'm always going to continue to pray for you I'm always going to continue to pray for you um, and for those of you know who know my story right like you know faith over everything is true it's true we all get tested but we gotta put our faith first now what does faith mean right I'm gonna break this down no for me it's my faith in my God it's my faith in my higher power it's my faith in the belief that I know that no matter what I'm gonna go through I'm never gonna be alone I'm always gonna be given what I'm needed right and that's my faith because if you don't have faith what do you have what can you hold on to so the first level of faith that i'm talking about is your faith in your god or faith in god or faith in the higher power right and for me it's my god it's my jesus right it's all the things that that i believe personally now i'm not trying to put my faith on you but i'm just saying the first form of faith or the first level of faith has to be that faith in that higher power in the things that you don't always see and the things that you know come from above right the second part of this uh piece of this faith or second level of faith is faith in yourself believe me faith in yourself right it's the idea that you are already given everything you needed you already have everything you need for right now and if you need more you will get more if you need more strength you will get more strength if you need more guidance you will get more guidance if you need more support you will get more support but you have to have faith in that right so the level one higher power level two faith in yourself right so now here we are when I'm talking about faith over everything are you really willing to do that and see easier said than done Right? It's kind of like the saying, right? The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And a lot of us right now watching this video know what we should be doing, but are we doing it? Right? It's just like the whole idea. We're excited, but are we committed? Right? We're excited about the new year. We're excited about new goals. We're excited about all these things, but are we committing to it? Are we committing to being better? Are we committing to being healthy? Are we committing to being more spiritual? Are we committing to being a better husband, a better father, a better wife, a better daughter, a better cousin, a better, a better friend, a better student? What is that for you? I can't say, I, you know, I can't answer that for you. But what I can say is that if you put more faith in your higher power, you put more faith in yourself, and you put more faith in all that you do then things will start to happen believe me do what you do best and you'll blow up stop trying to do things that aren't you stop trying to be someone that you're not just be authentically you and I promise you I promise you things will start to change for the better despite all of the things that might be going on around you 
right? I'm a perfect example of that. I got all this stuff going on and people who know my life know there's a lot going on in my life right now in all different areas, but I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to keep pushing because my wives, right? My family, my wife, my daughter, all the kids and the youth and the communities I serve, right? It's not about me. It's about them. And I got to have faith in that. I got to have faith in myself that I can serve them the best way that I know how. Right. And I know for me, my inner strength and my deep down inside from the inside out. Right. My spirit, my spirit is from up from up above. My spirit is from up above. And I believe that 120 percent. So all I'm saying, y'all, is you got to put faith over everything. Don't rely on anyone else. Don't rely, you know, on other people's promises. Don't rely on other people's abilities and skills. Rely on you and know that you got that power from above or those skills and those abilities and those gifts from above and have faith in that. And once you start to live your life completely with faith over everything, things will start to shift. Things will start to change. But you can't do it one day and then not the next day. Or just do it when things are good and then when things are bad, go back to your old ways. Right? Faith over everything is 120 all in. Make the commitment. My invitation to you is you know what you're good at. You know what you can do. You know what you can provide. You know what your strengths are. Go all in with those. Start there. Go all in with those. And everything else that you need, if you have faith, will come and will be provided for you. Will be provided for you. So with that being said, y'all, and always remember, it does not happen until you start to realize with your real eyes and your boys out. Thank you for taking the time to check this video out. Please remember to join the tribe. Click subscribe. Drop a comment. I love to start a conversation with you. Your boy is out. Peace. What I love about working with young people 